Hey guys, Owen with Seek Outside. So today I'm doing something that not most people like to do. I'm on the search to go find some bugs and go put myself in a tent with them. No, but in all seriousness, I will be going out and setting up a few tents and trying a few different methods. I have everything from a thermocell down to a nest, um, something with a sod skirt, something without a sod skirt. So we're gonna do a few tests, um, nothing too insanely scientific. This is how it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna set up the tent each time, um, take it down, shake it out um, from all the bugs, and I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna stay in there for 15 minutes with, with, with whatever system, and I'm gonna give you guys a little recap of it. Um, tell you guys how many bugs I see up there, um, if they're bothering me a ton. Uh, there's a ton of bugs, that, bugs out today. I already got a few bites, so let's go ahead and go for a walk. All right, guys, well, I got the shelter set up. This is the Eolus. You see how this doesn't go all the way to the ground right here? It's not necessarily ideal for bug protection without a nest. Um, luckily, we're not in the most bug infested area. So I have my own little setup here. I think I'm just gonna go in there and lay down for 15 minutes and see how, uh, how badly I get eaten alive. Okay, so um, honest opinion on that one. I'm gonna close it in so you guys can see all the bugs after spending 10, 15 minutes in there. It was pretty uncomfortable. I got a lot of bug bites, a lot of mosquito bites. Uh, there's quite a few bugs in there even. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys and show you all the bugs in there. Um, without like a sleeping bag or any other clothes, I was just kind of sitting up in there fighting off the swarm. So that was no fun, but let me go show you around in there. I know it's pretty hard to capture, but we got some bugs up here at the top of the tent. Um, hard to capture mosquitoes as they're just actually currently eating me. Well now, I think I have a chance. So I have a bug fighting protection system of some sort, uh, thermocell, I'm not sponsoring this video or anything, but uh, I have a thermocell right now and I'm gonna see if that makes a change. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna take this down, I'm gonna set it back up, same exact setup, but with this running and I'm gonna have it moved over there. So let's go see how that works out. Okay, now that I got it all reset up, I'm gonna start that thermocell and see if it protects me better from those bugs. Just so nobody thinks I'm gonna try and asphyxiate myself. Um, this product is only intended for outdoor use. Uh, like I said, we are not affiliated with them at all or anything, um, but we're just gonna use this. I'm gonna set it up outside of my tent in a general area. It's supposed to kind of cover like 15 feet area. So uh, we'll see if it kind of makes it go down. Um, and anyways, let's uh, get to it. I'm gonna start it up and get to it. Okay guys, so yeah, that was actually pretty interesting. A lot less mosquitoes, I think just in the general area um, when using this thing. So that's been super nice. Um, However, the flies and other bugs like ants and stuff weren't really phased by it. So still quite a few in there. Um, I think when it comes to Eolus that you're always gonna have some bugs in your tent, but this definitely helped. Um, I believe there's a few other products on the, on the market that are more safe for indoor use um, that you could look into. But just as kind of a bug repellent, I didn't get bit by one mosquito when I was in there. Okay, so now we got the Cimarron light right here. This has side skirts, bit of a bigger tent than the uh, Eolus was. So this is gonna seal all the way to the ground. We're gonna see how that stacks up and, is, and how many bugs get in there just compared to a tent that doesn't have a sod skirt, it's a little more ventilated. So let's get to that right now. Okay, we have the Cimarron light set up. Um, it's much closer to the ground, you see this. Um, it has a flap down here, which brings it as close as possible as you can. Um, I also have some door screens right here so I can let air into the tent so I don't overheat while I'm in there, um, but also keep bugs out for the most part. So I think uh, it's about time to go in there and see if we see any differences. Okay, so actually a pretty substantial difference there. 
Um, you know, it's a bit warmer in there because there's not as much ventilation as like the Eolus or something that's pitched off the ground. Um, but there, I probably had a fly or two in there, make some noise. I didn't really get bit by any mosquitoes. So for me, this is a major improvement. Um, I guess let's throw a half nest in there and see how much better that is. But um, real quick, let me show you all the bugs that were in there. It's not a whole lot. All right, guys, from my point of view, um, there's a few bugs up there. Not that many. There's, there's this crazy guy. Um, but, so as you see, it's like a lot closer to the ground here. Um, and then with this door screen, keeps you a lot more protected. But yeah, there's a few bugs, but nothing like the Eolus. Overall, each step we've kind of gone up has been a decent little improvement. Um, so now we're gonna take the biggest improvement I think we can take, but we'll see how it works. And that's going to be the half nest for the Cimarron. Um, we make a nest for a lot of our other tents, but just I just have one of these with me. So um, they're all gonna function the same. They're all gonna be floor and have full bug netting and work as kind of an inner tent. So um, I'm gonna get to go in and installing that and then laying it and then I'll share my final thought. Okay, so we have the half nest set up right now. Um, I'm gonna open this door up just to show you kind of how that works. Um, see, it's taken up half of this tent right now. Um, makes everything a lot more comfortable. I mean, it's basically an inner tent. Um, zips, zips open from here. See, it's got an opening. Um, actually opens from the whole face. So you can throw whatever you want in there. Um, like preferably your sleeping bag. Um, and that combined with the door screens, I think is gonna be the ultimate setup without using some kind of chemical to keep the bugs away. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna fill this up, do a quick test and get to it. All right guys, going in for my 15 minutes. Catch you in a bit. Well, I'll definitely tell you that's the most comfortable and least bug bitten I've been um, throughout our couple tests. Um, basically no bugs got in there because it's sealed. The only bug that did get in there was an ant that was still attached to my sleeping pad when I left it out here. Um, and then, yeah, there's still a few bugs inside the actual tent, but they obviously couldn't get to me. So, uh, I think this is the best setup. However, there's disadvantages and advantages. So I kind of want to recap that here in a second. I think we should, uh, head back, do a little recap and then, uh, finish this up. Awesome. So I think it's about time to head back, got the backpack filled back up. Um, head back and discuss some of my opinions on uh, all the setups we tested. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So after getting back to the car, I think I've uh, come up with some final thoughts. Um, the Eolus, so a tent that doesn't pitch all the way to the ground by itself is not bad. Um, depending on the amount of time you're going to spend in the tent, um, it could be bad. So, you know, if, if I'm only using it um, ultralight backpacking and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just set up camp for you know sleep for a couple hours and then keep moving uh, that's not a big deal to me and so that's that's not a that's not a big problem um, now going on to the next thing we did which was the um, which was the thermocell the thermocell it definitely made the camp and area I guess around the tent uh, a little bit more bug free especially for mosquitoes, which are definitely the more pestering ones. Um, although the other, other bugs still kind of sat around, maybe I didn't give it enough time. Uh, bottom line, it's still not perfect. Anyways, um, then we're going on to the Cimarron light, which that was pitched mostly down to the ground, had door screens. So that thing, you know, in the middle of the day is, is hot. Um, you don't have as much ventilation, um, kind of get a greenhouse effect in there. So the door screens help out a ton, but you can still let bugs in when you're opening and closing that door. Um, but I thought there was a substantial amount less, uh, bugs in there comparatively to something that's a little bit more open and ventilated. So 
that was an advantage, although if you're planning on spending all day in it, it's gonna get really hot. Um, so, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to outweigh and weigh. Um, and then the ultimate setup, well, um, the heaviest setup as well, is going to be the Nest. Um, so you could run the Aeolus with the Nest. That's almost a dream setup right there. But the Cimarron with the Half Nest, um, you know, there was a few bugs inside the main tent but inside where I was, which was the nest, um, I had no problems. I didn't get bit by anything. I actually did. I got bit by one ant that um, lived on my mat while I brought it in there. But other than that, no, there was no issues. Um, so I think that the nest is the best route to go. If you're counting ounces, maybe not. Maybe some kind of bug repellent is going to be the best or just um, optimal setup area. You know, I kind of set up closer to some water just so I, there'd be more bugs, unfortunately. But, um, you know, setup area is important. Um, a lot of things to factor in, but I think overall, I'd rather have the nest um, and just use that during the summer. Just protect myself from bugs all the time because um, thankfully through this test, I have been eaten alive. So um, hope it was worth your guys' viewing pleasure. And um, hopefully you guys have some insight into uh, some of these things. So anyways, you guys have a great day. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, at Seek Outside. And if you have any questions, go ahead and email into us at info at seekoutside.com um, or just go ahead and give us a call. You guys have a great day. Bye.